So now who, who we got on the streets TV right now? What up, bro? Yeah. Hey. Them big poles. Yeah, big big poles and camera. Y'all say streets watching. Streets watching. What fuck you talking about? Yeah. Y'all seen the music video? Nah, I didn't. Tell Kiyasi what's up. Y'all rich. 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 <laughs> What's up with the gang? Nah, hell nah. I'm right here in the hood right now. I'm going to call you at the interview. Alright. Alright. All right, so look, man, what's going on with you, man? We got my boy B-Lil Ratchet in the building, man. We got him on the streets. What's good with it? Shit, fooling, man. Maintaining, maintaining. What's happening with you? Cooling, man. I see you, I see you got me out here in, in, you know what I'm saying, in the trenches, man. Tell the people, what, like, where we at right now? Shit, we right here on the Hemps, hit the homes, man. Bottom of the south, man, on the south side of Greensboro. Yeah. Man. All right, so man, for, for the people that don't like know too much about you, man, tell the people like, you know what I'm saying, what's up with you, man? Like, where you from? Shit, nigga, originally I was born in Louisiana, but shit, I'm from Greensboro, grew up in Greensboro and shit. This side of town and shit, you feel me? Rapping one on, you know what I'm saying? Holding shit down, proceed. Too much, too much flavor. Okay, so you originally from Louisiana? Baton Rouge? Yeah. Nah, hell nah, Seven Wolf. Seven Wolf, okay. Yeah, yeah, Seven Wolf Street. Okay, so, so like, you know what I'm saying, what made you move out here? Like, what was life out there, like, in Louisiana? It was like, shit, really? Man, I was fucking, like, young and like, young and young and, like, it was a lot, a lot of shit going on, you know, a little situation cracked off my peoples and shit. So, you know, Dukes and shit wanted to relocate, you know, for a better environment for her to raise us and shit. Yeah. We came down here like fuck it, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And what age was that? See, bar ass school, you know what I'm saying? Going to schools, you know, the schools down there a little bit different. Shit, fucked up for real. Like, I guess she ain't even really want us being raised in that environment. You know, just wanted to goddamn separate shit out, especially after what, what happened, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it was a whole little situation that uh, had happened and shit. That's why motherfuckers like fuck it. Saying come down here, okay. start over fresh. Little situation went down and shit, so you know we got relatives and shit down here. You feel me, like yeah. family and shit down here. So it's like shit. Guess she wanted to be back close with relatives on her side as well. You feel me? So okay. it's like fuck, that's what it is. Okay. What was life like, when, like when you got down here in North Carolina? 
Man, shit. Boy, life was a, a, a bit of a road, boy. A bit of a railroad. It was like shit. Okay, boom, we moved over here and shit, you know. Started school. It was the little dancing shit, you feel me? Then, you know, when the dancing came in, I was always freestyling and shit, you know, <laughs> rapping and shit, you feel me? Oh, God. But it was like shit, though, man, you know. Once niggas got down, got outside, you know, that's what it was it. Niggas started got down, hitting doors, rocking cars, you know, just getting on board and shit, you feel me? It was like really going back and forth, getting belted out and shit, you know, that bottom out of shit. It was just like shit, bro. I had an uh, OG in my ear that was always ready to find me, like, yo, youngin, boy, you got a voice, you know what I'm saying, youngin? I'ma need you goddamn being a little bit more productive on, you know what I'm saying, with yourself, like, you dancing this shit, you rapping this shit, like, you gonna have to goddamn put something together, you know what I'm saying? So you had somebody that to, like, see you and, like, notice you, like, you, know, you had some talent, and you wanted to, like, like, was it somebody that you looked up to, or that somebody that was just, like, in the neighborhood? It was, it was, like, a little bit of both. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Look, somebody I looked up to, you know, he was always around, you know, he was the OG. You feel me? Like, especially, you know, when everybody, you know, when I was over here growing up and shit, man, everybody was always, you know, if it ain't Lil Ratchet, it's BJ, you feel me? Like, they always, that's a two alphabet name. That shit kept my name and shit, you know? Somebody kid getting jumped, who they running to? They running in Dukes, you know what I'm saying? BJ. Oh, somebody crib got smacked by eggs who they running to old bj you know what i'm saying like it was just like that shit just spread it like a virus and it was like everybody you know it was to the point where motherfucker everybody knew what was going on even when they didn't it's like he was one of the ones like yeah man i be out of be hearing a little bit too much and it's like you can't even find like man they just got my name and shit they just talk you know at the time you know niggas young i ain't even on cap i wore a bed as fuck you feel me so it was like shit Fucking that right there. Word. Oh, so at that age you would just uh that's how you got your rap name? Yeah, yeah, Ratchet, man. As young, like <laughs> now they didn't start calling me Ratchet till like what? I left middle school, like, yeah, starting the high school. Okay. Like in the summer, like getting ready to on a freshman year, okay. that's when they start calling me that shit. That shit was based off the attitude, you know, I carry myself and shit. Like, mm -hmm. niggas used to tell me, boy, you ratchet as hell, fool. You ratchet as hell. Like, okay. Like, okay. That's how I know that's gonna be the next that damn. Uh -uh. Okay. Uh, like, the average person that don't, that's not from here, man. What's life like out here, man? Man, life out here, bro, just a bunch of bullshit, man. If you ain't got your mind on straight, bro, like, you know, like I tell, like I be telling my out of town partners when they be coming down here, be having the greens bro in their mouth, like shit, bro. It's straight slime city, bro. I'ma be real, like mandatory. Any nigga you around, they a day one. Somebody you started with, somebody you struggle with, somebody you ate with, somebody you least got history with. Like it's not solidified. It just link up with any new individual. You know, y'all y'all can lock in, but you know, far as linking up. You know what I'm saying? On road timer, bro. That's when it's gonna go left. Like, a nigga, a damn near dap you up. Same nigga to dap you up and kill you. You feel me? Like, this straight slime city. Like, you got to be around solidified individuals. You got to be on solidified shit because Nick motherfuckers have your name in any type of shit. Like, bro, motherfuckers out here retarded, man. Messy as hell. Like, messy. Then motherfuckers be hating. Like, or they hate shit out here. It's deep. So, so like, so you say nigga hate came with just like being like more so just yourself or like starting to rap and shit? I say myself, I'm gonna be honest like that. I seen that in elementary school. Like, my peoples used to always tell me that without even, I was really blindfolded through that. Thinking niggas was just that emotional or whatever. But it's like whole time, bro, you know, they hating. Like I said, you know, I was dancing more than the little rap thing. I was always rapping, you feel me? But I was dancing and shit, you feel me? I used to be out here Chris Brown and no motherfuckers and shit, like school dance. When it come to ta when it come to talent shows, it was like niggas, like teachers, principals, they was quick to, oh yeah, BJ, go ahead, do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's how that shit came. Like, motherfuckers always got down, had some type of little indie thing going. Okay. So when it comes towards your like the music part, man, like I see you've been grinding, man. Like 
I see you been like actually your Instagram got taken down. What happened with that, man? You was almost like what, like 10k, right? What happened with that? Like you were just going. It, 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 it was like what the fuck, man. It was just like some stupid shit, for real. Like I don't know, man. I don't know if I clicked on something wrong or if I DM the wrong individual. It was like, bro, my shit just got to tweaking. Like Gmail getting changed and shit from motherfucking New York. It was just on. So it just happened like out the blue. You woke up and your Instagram was just gone. Nah, it was just like <laughs> shit. Like I was on my shit. You feel me? And it was just like. My shit just kept logging out, like, yeah. logging out. Then I got a Gmail, like, oh, someone changed your passcode. No, it just, I'm just like, what the fuck, like. So, um, do, do you think that affected you as an artist? Like, how, how, how did you feel after your Instagram got taken down? I was, man, I was mad as hell. I'm gonna be real with you, bro. Mad as a motherfucker, man, I swear to God. So, like, most of your people, they didn't, like, grab, like gravitate to your new page? Like, yeah. I see you got a new page up. Every time I catch him, he be taking laps. Keep my own paper, hold my own lace, being valid that he use my own. He up the pole and they ain't use it, man. I thought he was a gangster. Couple of them, I said a couple of them for real. Like, you know, the new page, you know, it's a little bit peaceful. You feel me? Like, a lot of, you know what I'm saying? We gonna, I done got all the worst motherfuckers out the way. You feel me? I ain't really gotta do too much ducking and dodging, you know, far as motherfuckers begging, you know what I'm saying? You know how that shit go, bro. Motherfuckers okay. be. You gonna hear from a motherfucker down there, what, two years, once they see what's going on, now all of a sudden motherfuckers best of friends, they need some cash shop this, cash shop that. It's like I ain't gotta deal with them no more on a new page, so it's like shit. Peaceful, bro, it's really big peace. Grinding too, also like, with the visuals, man, like, you, you really been working towards like, trying to like, make your, make your, like your, your image. Like, what's important to you about your image? Like, can I see you been out here really talking some shit in these rounds, man? Like, tell me where that type of pain and shit came from. It just came from self growth. You know what I'm saying? It's like being incarcerated, you know what I'm saying? And seeing what's really going on when you behind them cells. It's like that shit gonna conduct a bit of a change. You feel me? Like, it just like, bro, that shit just. Mm. Yeah. Well, shit, man. Alongside that, man, you also work, like performed at the Greensboro Coliseum, man, to the people. Like, what was, like, made you, like, you know what I'm saying, get into that? Because you had some big head headliners on there, man. Like, talk to people. How was that experience? I got some in it, cause I you think they go. You got some nine and five workers. I ain't trying to be fucking. You are nine and five workers. Go and get that money. Go and get it. How you get it? Turn it up and go. And if you are nine and five workers, still money. Nigga, we the real trade. Well, I can't get it moving, bitch. He said he need a phone. Wait, so let me fall my Hoover, nigga. So they You know, it was just like it was like I don't know. It was like I've been there before, type shit. Knowing that was my first time, like it was just something, you know, something to goddamn start with, proceed. That shit, that shit was turning. Yeah, like, I seen you throwing money all on the stage, man. It was, it was all in the blogs and shit like that, man. Talk to people about like, you know, what I'm saying, like, what did that motivate you? Like, you know, what I'm saying, how, how did, how was the experience like, like more so? Going under a headliner, you know what I'm saying? Then getting that type of feel for the crowd, like arenas and shit like that. That shit, man. I'm gonna be real. That shit, that shit was like progress. It was just, it was showing me my progress. Like that shit, like it was a bit of, a, like I said, it was a bit of a motivation. Like, like bro, that shit just made me want to proceed. Like, keep going, you know? Cause like, not too many niggas really get opportunities like that out here. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Once you got the ball, like, proceed, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. That shit, that shit straight. Okay. So right now, so, if I tell you to freestyle or rap some shit, you, like, you can go ahead and do it. <laughs> Talk your shit, man. We on the streets TV, man. Be a little ratchet, man. What's good? What's up with Oprah? Oprah, I got you to do the freestyle. What I say what I say. Hold on. Okay, bitch, say that. 
They say they want that gangsta shit, so we gon' keep it pushing. Don't attach me to no nigga click, cause all these niggas pussy. I ain't gon' slime but I ain't going for nothing, so don't even think to push me. Only time these niggas focus, let some clap or some little pussy. They be pocket watching, sending hate when the nigga just be working. I hit his line, he ain't pick up a cent of you. What was your purpose? Be the niggas I don't like. They be watching, think they lurking. Niggas trying to bite my way, this shit is shiny niggas worse. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about right here. We on the streets, man. Come on, that's that fall talk. <laughs> yeah. Come on, off the head. No pen, no pen. Okay. Inspiration, like when it comes to music, like you got any type of like artists that you look up to? I mean, I wouldn't necessarily yeah. say look up to, you know. It's a it's, it's a couple artists out here that's doing their thug thuzzle as well, you know. I wouldn't necessarily say like look up to, but you know. It could be mainstream artists as well, that you know what I'm saying? Yeah. People that like influence you to rap. You ain't have an artist that influenced you to rap, or it was just more so just like, you know what I'm saying, you just like the music? Yeah, just a little bit. I just like the music, for real. Like. Okay. It was a lot of artists, though, I was fucking with, though. Like, I be playing and shit. It's mainstream. Even local artists. Like, I be booming local artists and shit, too. Talk like. to the people, man. Like, is there any artists out here in the Carolinas you might want to tap in with that might see this interview that might be like, man, I ain't know he wanted to work with me. Is somebody out here you might want to work with? I mean, shit. Now, I wouldn't say that, like, not necessarily, but you know, if a nigga tap in, shit, tap in, you feel me? Okay. I'll reach out, shit, niggas will get something done eventually, like, it's that. Okay. So, you also, like, you working on a uh, tape right now? Like, what's going on? Hey, yo, I'm really working on two of them bitches. I got the city, I got the city minister, then I got public enemy and shit. Like, I'm probably gonna go ahead and push the public enemy first, then come with the city minister, you feel me? Okay. All right, so like, uh, like, what's next with uh, for, what's next for like, be little ratchet, man? Talk to the people. Say I'm gonna got down. Oh, see, we got something coming up around the 31st. Probably at the Coliseum again, for real. We got the little baby shit, the baby boosie. You know what I'm saying? Gonna hit the road and shit. Like, it's a couple, it's, like, it's a busload of shit, for real. Mm -hmm. That's like shit. I just, I just like, I like to show receipts. You feel me? I don't know. It's a lot of motherfuckers out here. They really, you know, be having a little motion with what they do, but it's like, you know, someone be the type, you know, it's like to the point everybody done started a little trend where even if they doing something or just start doing something, they want to just outburst, make an announcement like it's something big, you know what I'm saying, just to goddamn conduct a little audience or whatever, you know, like that shit done became a trend with everything, so it's like me, I'd rather just show receipts, you feel me, like. It ain't even really too much I announce, you feel me, to this writing in that date or something, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Do you feel like Greensboro slept on when it come to artists? Like, you know <clears throat> Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna cap, but we got a couple. It's a couple out here that really be making sense, though. Like, I didn't even link up with a couple out here. Like, it's, it's probably, like, bro, they, they got some shit, like, it's a little fine, it's a little fine. It's like, you know how that shit go, man. They gon' they gonna fuck with what's poppin', you know what I'm saying? Who everybody else fucking with. It ain't they just fall in line, you know what I'm saying? It ain't even motherfuckers like it's only a handful of motherfuckers that'll take the time out, you feel me? Cause like it's a couple niggas I be with, including him, like that be got some shit that's different, you feel me? And it's like okay, you feel me, but like everybody it's a dick eating ass city. This top, I say this top five dick eating city ever. Like, I'm gonna be real, bro. Motherfuckers be dick eating on anything. Like, so, so you feel like it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, favoritism and shit like that. You feel like, you know what I'm saying? People <laughs> hopping on the wave type, you know what I'm saying? What, 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 like, talk about it. Man, yeah. I'm gonna be honest. It's favoritism like a motherfucker. Like, you, you could, you could speak like, on it. It's like, really, it's like, really, like, I, it's like, really shit. Like I said, bro, motherfuckers just fall in line. Like, people in this city got who they want to win. Like, swear to God, you could be the nigga out of your, like, side of town that's really pressing the issue, doing more than the other niggas that's from the same side doing the same shit. You feel me? It's like, they a dead ass, you know what I'm saying? Glory for get them they flowers before actually giving you yours. Like, people pick and choose who they want to win. It's not like, they just gon' respect the process, like, like I said, it's the dick eating the city ever, like, they don't keep the streets, swear to God, like, mm. 
they don't keep the street. That's why it's so crazy. Like, so is that like in any way you trying to like switch that up and like you know what I'm saying change that maybe like link up with people and maybe like break that barrier? I mean, I, I ain't gonna kid, I ain't gonna cap. I really thought about it, some shit like that before. Like that wasn't probably one of my little catalog for real. But you know, it's like shit. Me, I just like you know let them think. I'm the type that I'd rather let you look stupid. You feel me? Like. Then to rectify what it is and what it's not, you feel me? Like, motherfuckers don't listen to well. Everybody emotional, you know, everybody got their own ways of thinking, their own opinion about everything. So it's like, it's hard to even have a civilized conversation with motherfuckers nowadays. Like, so it's like, I just let motherfuckers think what it is. Like, you mm. feel me? They see what's going on, you feel me? Trust and believe for sure. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Could we actually come together as a whole, you know what I'm saying, and, and like push each other, or you feel like it's it's so divided that it won't be able to happen? I feel like it ain't really divided though. Like, like how, I might speak on how you feel. I'm gonna be real with you, you know. It's, that's I thought about that as well, but it, it, it that's that's long over. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be real. As far as everybody coming, oh nah, hell nah. You know, I'm gonna be real. It's a lot of blood on the table in this, in this city, bro. So it's like. Situ like real situations divided more got niggas divided i'm gonna be real and it's like it's nothing nobody can do because you know it be on situations on crazy like it's that shit that shit out the window like okay. yeah so as a so like so mostly you, you just be sticking to yourself man you you, you and your team y'all just be out here just be you know what i'm saying this is where y'all be at right here yeah, anytime I'm conducting business or something, yeah, I stop through the hood here now right. and then, you feel me? Okay. Stop through here. So all the jits, you know what I'm saying? They be down, you be getting on your music and shit, they be knowing your name and shit like that. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, about crazy shit. Word, okay. Word. But <laughs> well, shit, it's Friday, man. What you got going on for the night, man? You ain't in the studio? Shit, nah, I'm probably gonna goddamn hit the studio probably with, uh, in the morning. Okay. Probably in the morning, probably gonna head down to Charlotte. Politic with a couple goddamn individuals of mine. Okay. Since my partner got damn birthday and shit, you know what I'm saying? Get up, chop it up and shit. Okay. Yo, my shit bust the dice out this man. <laughs> Boy, I... Take me around the hood real quick, show me what's shit, going on. Man, you step on the hood for sure, man. This right here, this the bottom of the hemp's right here. On the south side. You know what I'm saying? It really peace with shit, like, I'm gonna be real, like, shit and water down since back in the day, back in the day. This is what everything is. Word. You kids, all over this motherfucker, for real. Y'all boys be over here, too? Hey, yeah, we grew Born up and raised. <laughs> Word. Y'all seen raised. all type of fights and crazy shit out here? Word. We used to be in them fights. It's great memories right here. I remember it was like what, 20, it was just like 2011. It was this nigga that stayed over here. He was a new nigga had just moved over here. You know, this back when the, the dope all in, like they outside deep. Nighttime type shit, little house party just went down. Niggas drunk coming in the cut, hopping on the court, slap boxing, doing all type of shit. So, niggas the whole, the, the whole hood, the whole party fucked around, put feet on that boy. I'm talking about bitches and all, like, they jumping in, getting licks in too, like, that shit was just like, at a young age, to see some shit like that, is what really told, like, showed me, like, oh, yeah. This shit, this shit lit, shit go, go down out here. Shit, yeah, this shit watered down, though, like, now it's just peaceful as hell, like, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day, that's when this shit really was goddamn ratchet. Yeah, God. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? This, this made, I'm going to just be honest though, like this hood is the reason I know damn near everybody in Greensboro, in the city, like this hood really made a lot of motherfuckers, like this niggas is really, it's like, let's be real, if motherfuckers was claiming the hemp's, I mean, let's, that shit would be everybody in the city hood, like, it's like now, like I said, everybody done felt like just on the train to fall in the line. They done turned their back on the hood for sure. Like, I'm gonna be real. Like. So you feel like you wanna be the one that now put this shit back on? 
like not saying on but like you want to be the like, like you know what i'm saying the one that's repping this shit for real absolutely absolutely because you know the hemp's made me bro i ain't You um OG man, I had to stop you real quick. You, I heard you bumping some shit right there. You be uh, you heard of my boy Pete the Ratchet? Word, all right, that's a fact, man. Y'all can check him out. Word, all right, bet. Streets watching, man. That's what's up. Bet. Hey man, I see you got that damn shit playing in the car, man. What you playing, man? Man, that's that big little Ratchet, man. You ain't, you ain't got it. <laughs> you ain't doing nothing.